Hey y'all, my family, my friends, my YouTube, uh, welcome back to my channel. I hope y'all had a wonderful Mother's Day. Look at these pretty flowers I got. I got some little neighbors that, uh, little girls, brought me these for Mother's Day. Aren't they sweet? These are so pretty. Pink, I mean white, red, and yellow. Yellow Rose of Texas. I love them. Thank you so much if y'all are watching. Thank you, thank you. And look, I got this big old pretty plant my son gave me. And with this plant, I'm so excited. I got this card. And you're not going to believe what's in this card. Let me get it out and I'll show you. It's a Mother's Day card. And... It's a Dollar General gift card. It's $25. So I can spit 2,500 penny items. I got my next year's paid for. So thank you, son. I love you. And I will be using this. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So I was real excited about that. But um, before we get started, I want to tell you that Miss Peggy has been tagged. Her YouTube channel, Peggy's Corner, has been tagged. Now, I was tagged by, um, oh Lord, I don't even know what I did with my paper, but anyway, I was tagged by Amanda, and Amanda, aka um, Mandy's Magic Moments, if y'all haven't watched her, you need to watch her. If you have a birthday, if your friends have a birthday, she makes birthday videos. So thank you, Amanda, for tagging me. But I was tagged in the coronavirus questions. So I'm going to answer these questions. There's 10 coronavirus questions here. So the first one is, how many rolls of toilet paper do you have? Well, you know, Miss Peggy um, is a prepper. So, I've got more than what most people probably do, but I took a picture of it so we don't have to go in there and um, but here's Miss Peggy's um, shelf. She keeps her toilet paper on and it is in my bedroom behind the door. And there, it looks like a lot of toilet paper, but I pick it up when it's on sale. So if I got a coupon for it or something, I pick it up. So I'm not a hoarder, and I didn't hoard all the toilet paper, but I do have quite a few. So I ought to have a drawing that y'all can guess how many toilet papers it is. But I'm going to tell you, there's right at 50 of them. There's either 49 or 50. I counted them twice once I got 50, and... Once I got 49, so Miss Peggy has <laughs> enough toilet paper. So, question number one. That was the toilet paper question. So, moving on to number two. What has been the biggest change since the lockdown? The biggest change is I can't go to the grocery store and I haven't been to Walmart the only store that I have been in since February is the Dollar General. The Dollar Generous. I have not been anywhere else in two months. And I've limited myself to which Dollar Generals I go to. And I only go for essential items. Today was Tuesday the 12th and there was a penny list and there was some food on there and yes I did go and we're going to get to that in a minute but that's what I miss the most is going um, to the grocery store and my favorite grocery store is Winco I love to go to Winco so the third question is where are you currently parked or docked I am currently parked and docked at my house most, <coughs> most of the time I'm docked on my bed watching TV 
I don't know. I guess I must get that from my mom. My mom was always laying on her bed watching TV rather than in the living room. Most of the time the TV in the living room was off and she was laying on her bed watching TV. And that's exactly where Miss Peggy is, sitting on her bed watching TV. So I say I'm docked on my bed most of the time. Okay, so question number four. What have you gone without recently? I've gone without Bluebell ice cream. I love Bluebell ice cream, and I have. Robert and I have, in the last two months, we've gone almost a week without Bluebell. And I have to say, every night before we go to bed, we have a couple of scoops of Bluebell ice cream. So, I have missed and gone without that the most. So, question number five. What are you more grateful for? I am more grateful for my health. This coronavirus has really made you realize that you better be blessed with your health. I do have underlying health issues, but I don't have a lot. So, there's a lot more people sicker than I am. So, I'm very blessed that my health is as good as it is. So, I'm thankful for the health that I do have. So, let's see. Number six, what do you miss the most? Well, I think I skipped number four. I mean, number five and did six, but I already missed that. What I missed the most was going to Walmart. So, number seven, how long has it been since you went camping? Well, it's been a while. I love going camping, but I haven't been camping in a few years because... Robert has back trouble, and all we have is a small tent, so it's not very convenient for a couple of grandparents to go camping and sleep on the ground, so we haven't been camping for, I don't know, three or four years, maybe, maybe five. Okay, so question number eight, what is your favorite quarantine food? Cookies. That's my favorite quarantine food, and they are the little graham cracker teddy bears at the Dollar General's. I love those little things, and those are my go-to snacks. So, that's my quarantine foods, cookies. So, number nine, how are you working out and exercising? Well, mostly just yard work. That's what I do mostly and get my exercises yard work. I've planted okras that are coming up. I've planted green beans that are coming up. I've got carrots not coming up. And um, I've been doing a lot of yard work. So that's, that's that workout I get. So question number 10. Say, who are you challenging next? So I'm challenging... Stinky Cheese. Stanky Cheese. Stanky Cheese is a YouTube person that watches my videos and I watch her videos. So tag your it Stanky Cheese. And if you don't watch my video in the next couple of days, I'm going to go over on your channel and I will let you know that you have been challenged. The Coronavirus Challenge. Stanky Cheese. You're up next. <laughs> okay, so... We got those things done, so now let's get to what we found this morning when we went penny shopping. So the first thing I did this morning is I pulled up my Easter candy, and I scanned it, and it did not penny today. So we're still waiting on that. So Dollar General has been tricking us lately. Uh, some things that are supposed to penny on Tuesday, pennied on Friday and not on Tuesday. Um, like the brown dots, for example. And so, um, the Easter candy is supposed to penny today, and it didn't. So, we're going to just keep a watch for that. So, it may be soon. So, we'll look forward to that. So, surprise penny. This was a surprise penny. When I went to the Dollar General looking for the chili because I know my Dollar General had that chili on their clearance rack and I was going after it but 
I thought, well, there's other food on the clearance rack, so I scanned it. This scanned up a penny, and I know this has been on my clearance rack for four months. It's been there since Christmas. So here is the barcode for it. I know I've only got one, but I got four. Four of these sitting on the clearance rack. So those were a surprise penny. Now, um, at this door, on the clearance rack, I found all kinds of these. I got a whole sack full of them. The A&W little single servings. You put them in your water. You just put them in your water. Now, this is the A&W one. And, um... That's your barcode. And these don't even expire until April of 2022. So, um, I even got a box and kept the box for some of these. But all of these are all the root beers. And I don't know, I think I got quite a few of them. All at one store. And while I was digging these out of the clearance rack, two girls walked up. And as soon as they saw me in my cart, they was like, oh, she's already got them. So, <coughs> they just turned around and walked off. I, I was going to ask them, but they left. So, and I got one of these. Um, this was on the penny list. Now, I got these last year when they penny too. Pulled pork, um, shredded beef. Now, um, here's the barcode for that one, if you need the barcode. But uh, this was on the clearance rack. It was on the clearance rack with the root beer, um, single serving drinks. And I got one roll of t this wrapping paper. I just saw it sitting there, so I just scanned it, and it was a penny. Now, um, here's the barcode for that particular one. And it's not any particular, um, not a particular kind. It's just got the blue stripe things on them. But... Here's my receipt. So I'm missing a sack. So I am missing a sack. It's because I got, um, this star kiss tuna it's right there and somehow or another I didn't get home with it so but there's all the rest of my pennies that guy does that to me more than once I have had to go back and get them so I don't think I'm gonna go back today but anyway we'll just move on to the next one I'm not gonna cry over some pennies but I was wanting that tuna so this store I got one of those fabric tablecloths now this one is a rectangular one and it's 52 by 70, so that's going to fit my table. So, I saw somebody else got one of these that was a brown one. This one is a blue one. But, um, it was a penny. It was on the clearance rack. And I just scanned it. So, there it was. For a penny. A penny tablecloth. And then... 
I went to another store. Now they got a coupon for this. Now, this is a big soily, uh, so well, so well um, razor. And um, they are $3.30. And there is a $4 coupon, digital coupon with this that you can clip. And um, so I clipped it. It's a $4 coupon and it cost $3.30. Gave me a $0.70 cents overage. And the $0.70 cent overage, well, it was applied because I had to get the cat food at the top. So it just, that 70 cents just came right off my cat food. So um, go get you some of these big razors because they're free. They'll give you 70 cents overage, which will pay for some penny items. So um, that was a good deal. Now, this is the store I went to that I knew that the chili was in. This is my number one store that I go to that I call my number one store. Now this is the Southgate Chili. I got two cans of this. And let's see the best by date. It doesn't expire till October of 2022. So I've got a couple of years. This can sit in my cabinet waiting for me to eat it. And I also found another can of this pulled pork. That was on the clearance rack. Now, the pulled pork is in barbecue sauce. So just look for the Clover Valley pulled pork in the barbecue sauce. And here's your little barcode for that one. And this one is going to be good until March the 3rd of 20. So this one has been expired for a month, but... This is a sell by date, it's not an eat by date. As long as the can's not swollen or anything, it's still good. So you can still eat it. Now, these things, I had scanned these things a month or so ago, and I put them in my list. And I just noticed yesterday on my phone that these changed from a dollar or 50 cents, I forget what they were, to a penny. I was like, wow, those changed to a penny. So when I went up there this morning, I went over to where I knew they were. They were on the register. And the, the manager was checking people out. And I just reached over there right by her and picked them up. And she just looked at me and didn't say anything. So... To me, they look like sparklers, but these are called snowflake pencils, and they are a penny. Now, they're considered a a blue dot, and the date on them is no date, but they are blue dot, and there's the barcode for them. Can you read that? <laughs> and I got two other little pencils or pens and um, I don't know they just look like little characters one of them is a banana and one of them is a lime I think a little banana and a little lime aren't those cute but they were a blue dot and I scanned them and they scanned up a penny so 84 84. They're different colors, but they both have the exact same barcode on them. So these were a penny. So, and also these were on the um, clearance rack. They're the Crush Berry Punch. Berry Punch, yeah. So I got two of those. So, now, the Dollar General receipt does not have the, um, the, um, oh, what do you call that, um, where you entered the, entered the drawing for the gift card, the $100 gift card. 
that's the survey. They don't have that anymore. As you can see, there's my stuff. I paid a penny for it. You can see the date. So, I got 13 items for 13 cents. Everything on this, from the chili to the pulled pork to the pins to the Kool-Aid, everything was a penny on here. So... That was a good time. Now this was the last store I went to and I was just walking down the aisle headed toward the checkout stand and this caught my eye. I was like, you know, I think that might be a brown dot. So I stopped and look, it was a brown dot. And the brown dots have pennied. So here's you the barcode just in case you find one of these, but they're fall of 19 brown dots and this was a penny. so. It's just a neck pillow, so it's got some foam beads in it. It really feels comfy. So that was a penny. And then this was in the clearance aisle, and it's a Despicable Me. And I had already got some of this stuff, so I scanned it, and it was a penny. So there's the barcode, just in case you need it. But the... Despicable Me bracelets, three of them, scanned up a penny. And then these were on the regular aisle. These were not in the clearance aisle. Um, so some of these single serving things, this one's the Clover Valley Mountain Explosion. Um, I got four of these, but these were not in the clearance section. So depending on your store, um, when they pulled them, these say they're good until May of 2020, so that's this month, so they're still good. They're, they had not even hit the date yet. So, <coughs> that's the pennies for today, and don't forget the surprise penny. See if I get a thumbnail on that one. But anyway, um, scan everything in the clearance because the clearance is doing good right now. You know, last week we got all the red square shoes uh, and the flip-flops that were 2018s. Um, so go find you some. So this is really what I went for this morning, some essential chili. Get that thumbnail. Okay, so that's all I got for today. So y'all go do y'all some penny shopping and stay safe. I wore my mask. I wore my goggles. I didn't wear gloves, but I hand sanitized before I went in. Hand sanitized when I got back in the car before I took my mask off and stuff. So go essential shopping. Stay safe. Wear your mask. I've noticed today that the Dollar General people are not wearing their mask anymore, so I think Texas has made it to where it's suggested, but it's not mandatory, so you can wear them or you can not wear them. It just depends on what you want. So I say wear them. So, adios from North Texas, and goodbye from Cowtown. And I love y'all. Hit the subscribe button, and... I've noticed that there is more than half of y'all that are watching my videos that are not subscribed to my channel. So, please subscribe to my channel. I love y'all. Thank y'all. And, Stanky Cheese, don't forget you are tagged in the coronavirus questions. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye. Cool. That was close. Well, when I ended that video, <coughs> and I told y'all that, um... They didn't give me my Star Kiss chicken. Well, I called the store three times, and they wouldn't even answer. So I guess the manager wasn't in the office. She was at the register when I got there. But anyway, um, here they are. I went back down there. Um, these are the Zesty Lemon Pepper. It's a Star Kiss Chicken Creations, and this one was on the penny list. And uh, that's the ones that they 
forgot to give me. Let me see if I can get that so you can see that barcode. Let me get another one and see if it's not mashed. Well, they're all going to be mashed, aren't they? Here's one that looks a little better. I don't know if you can scan that or not, but there you go. But anyway, um, yeah, I was like, there's six of them. And um, I didn't get home with them, and I, I, I knew it as soon as I was showing y'all the list. And I, was, and I was, wasn't finding my sack. So, um, here's the tuna right here. It's at the bottom of my list. There was six of them, so he just charged me six cents because he counted them. Because I told him I wanted to keep the box. Uh, a lot of times I have so many of these, it's like it's just better just to keep the box, you know. And you're going to stick that in your cabinet. So, I was so happy he kept them for me, so he still had them when I went back. And that was like uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and I was there at 8.50 this morning. 10 minutes till 9, I was at this second store, and um, that's where I got this. So, thank you, manager at my favorite Dollar General. Not my first one, but the second one. Thank you for saving these for me. That's so nice. So I was thankful for that. But anyway, um, I went to another store that was just around the corner from that one. And this one is an NCI store. And um, here's my receipt. And I, that's, this is the reason why I came back on this video to show you. I didn't come back on just to show you that chicken. I came back on because I walked by an aisle and this caught my eye. And uh, I remember this being on a penny list that people were finding. And the pattern is really what I remember, not really... Um, that it was a table runner. I just remember the pattern. So I was like, whoa, back the truck up. And uh, I was at an NCI store, and this was, in the NC this was in the NCI area where they keep the cup towels and the tablecloths and all that stuff. So I stopped and I scanned them. And um, there was three of them on that shelf. So I started digging, and I was like, whoa, there's another one. Ooh, there's another one. And um, they're all three a penny. So uh, I got three table runners, and these would be definitely good for a present or a Christmas or a whatever. Um, these are nice table runners. And let's see what size they are. They're a 13-inch by 72. So this could be on a long table. So I love those. And look what else I found. Now these is a surprise penny too. You know, I told you that uh, this was a surprise penny. I found these on the clearance aisle. And um, so since these were a penny, I just started scanning things that was also a true living because they're the same, right? So I just started scanning stuff. So some of the cup towels were not a penny but when I got to these, these white ones, and this is a purple, a purple stripe in there. It looks blue, I know, but it's not, it's purple. But um, these are a penny. There's your the barcode. Now, um, and I started digging and, and I found quite a few. Well, I say quite a few. There's really only three, but three of these, and I got three table runners, and um, these are all three purple. They all three have the same barcode on them, and uh, the tweed in them is purple. Now, these are at the NCI store, so go look at your NCI store for the kitchen towels, the true living, 
and uh, look for the ones with the stripes going this way. They've got some going stripes this way. They are not the ones. But these are a surprise penny. Or maybe they're old pennies and I just didn't know it. Um, maybe y'all can tell me if these are a surprise penny or if these are an old penny. I know these are an old penny. So it's very possible that these could be too. So um, I was excited. Whenever you get uh, kitchen towels and table runners and those kind of things, those are expensive. So let's see if these have a price on them. No, they do not have a price on them. And neither do the towels. They don't have a price on them. So I don't know. They're $6. Say if they're just a dollar a piece. Um, these towels are thick. It feels like there's two of them, but it's really only one. <coughs> but anyway, uh, we've got the horn frogs here in Tarrant County, so go horn frogs. And uh, let's see, also, I was standing in line at the register. This is funny. And uh, right on top of the register, they keep chips and stuff above in between the registers. So I was just looking up there and browsing and digging and see what was in there. Look what I found. A purple square. I knew it was going to be a penny, so I scanned it. And this is just lip gloss Toy Story 4. Um, I'll show you the barcode, but I mean, this is an old penny, but that just shows you they're still out there. The pennies are still out there. And then um, <coughs> I found one of these. This is a zesty lemon pepper. Um, what I did with those other ones? Yeah, they're zesty lemon pepper. So uh, this was at the other. I mean, this is at the store with the cup towels. Uh, so I got seven of these now. But anyway. I wanted to come back and show y'all those cup towels and stuff. So if they are a surprise pennies, then y'all can go and look for y'all some. So I don't know. I'm going to hope they are. But um, that that's a lot of the 10 items for 10 cents. That's uh, three, three cup towels and um, three table runners and then the lip balm. So that, that's 10 things right there. So that that was a good buy. So anyway, I just wanted to come back and show you all those. So that... Um, oh, here's the rest of them. I was wondering where they were. What did I do with them? Here's that. I knew I got more than three. I was like, I just knew I did. Okay, and I knew there was a different color one too. Okay, it was behind me here. But anyway, uh, this one, it's brown. And the rest of them are purple. So I got uh, four purple ones and one brown one. Now let's see if the purple ones and the brown ones have the same. No, they don't have the same barcode. So here's the brown one and there's the barcode. So I got one, two, three, four, five cup towels for five cents. So that's a good deal. So I kind of needed some new cup towels. So I was happy about that. So oh, and I also got this. This is a two-pack placemat. They're just red. So you can use them for Valentine's. That kind of looks orange on there, don't it? But it's not. It's red. And um, I was scanning them with these. They were together with these. So as another true living. Um, so I scanned it and it scanned up a penny. Now the penny list this week uh, for the uh, tuna and the chili and the pulled pork and all that. Those are, I'm finding the, those at, at both stores. M NCI stores and the regular stores. So. <clears throat> but the towels, I don't know. They might just be the NCI only. But um, you don't know. But anyway, um, I wanted to show y'all that so that I could add this to this video. So 
Go look for you some cup towels. I just don't know. Tell me in the comments below. Are those old pennies that Miss Peggy just don't remember? Or um, are they new pennies? Because sometimes the NCI list is kind of long sometimes, and I have not. This basically is the first time I found anything that has to do with the NCI part of the Dollar General or the NCI. You know, it has those two aisles that are just NCI stuff. It's home stuff. So this is my first time finding anything pennies in the home section of the NCI store. So I love y'all. Adios from North Texas and goodbye from Cowtown. And I love y'all. Hit that subscribe button uh, and the like button. So and I will talk to y'all when I get that penny list Friday or Saturday and we'll see what's on the next one. Bye now.